Our objective is to find b given the graph of this exponential function. Start by identifying a point on the curve. The only thing to keep in mind is that you do not want to use the coordinate 0, 1 as it is not unique to this particular exponential function. Anything to the 0 power equals 1. Otherwise, we can use any other point on this function. I'm going to go ahead and use the purple point, 2, 9. Going up to my equation, I'm going to replace the x with 2 and the y with 9. Next, I'm going to solve this equation by getting b alone. To get b alone, I'm going to need to square root both sides. Normally, when you take the square root of both sides, you get both positive and negative. But remember, by definition, in an exponential function, that b value must be positive. Now that I know b is 3, y equals 3 to the x is the equation of the exponential function. In this example, to find b, given the graph, start by identifying a point on the function. You can use any point as long as you do not use 0, 1. I'm going to go ahead and use the purple coordinate, negative 2, 4. Replacing the x with negative 2 and the y with 4, I now have a negative exponent. Using exponent rules, I know that b to the power of negative 2 is the same as 1 over b to the positive 2. A good rule of thumb, when you have fractions in an equation, immediately multiply both sides by the denominator. Once I multiply both sides by b squared, I'm going to end up getting 4b to the second power equals 1. Continuing to get b alone, I'm going to divide both sides by 4. Next, to get rid of squaring, I'm going to take the square root. The square root of a fraction is the same thing as the square root of the numerator over the square root of the denominator. We end up getting b equals 1 half. Now that I know b is equal to 1 half, the equation that goes with this graph is y equals 1 half to the power of x.